Hello guys and um, welcome to Warren's Model Aircraft. Um, this is update 4 I think it is. I think it's update 4. Um, on the ME109 Airfix Battle of Britain group build. Um, the engine was installed anyway, you know this from the last video. Um, I have put some of the, I've put the cockpit dials on. Um, there's a cover that goes across the top of the cockpit with all the wiring and some com electrical components. I've put that I've put that on and that's all painted up and weathered and varnished. Um, I've also put the cowling on. There's like a material cowling for what the, the for the guns. That material that's on um, and weathered up, painted and weathered up as well. Um, the um, gun brackets for the machine gun brackets on the front of the engine what hold the machine guns in the right position they're all painted weathered up as well um, I've also um, added the 30mm machine guns to the I've installed them into the inside of the wings and they're, they're all installed weathered painted you name it it's, they're complete as well um, so I thought you'd do, I'd do an update on that and also I'd like to thank everybody for all the nice comments and for viewing my videos. Much appreciated. I'd like to shout a big thank you out to Frankie Day. Um, you know, he mentions me quite a lot in his videos. He's very, he praises me quite a lot. Um, more than I deserve, I think, or I'm just being very um, modest. I don't know which what the case may be. Um, also, I'd like to um, thank um, Jay Cutter, named as Steve, for taking part. Very nice bloke. I'd like to thank uh, Panzerman in Panzerman's bunker um, for joining and all the nice comments. I'd also like to say a big thank you to Lon. Who does the dioramas, or he's known as Pete? He's sent me, I think it's five posters by email, which I'm I'm going to print off and I'm going to put them on my wall. So well, I think one's a Cold War sabre, there's a Spitfire, and I think that it's a Stealth bomber or a Blackbird. I think it is, and there's another one. So they're going to be printed off and put on my wall. Thank you very much, Pete. Much appreciated. Um, who else is in the group build? Um, Madman, thank you very much, sir, for your nice comments. Much appreciated. I'm looking forward to your FW Fucker Wolf. Um, I think Steve Jake Cutter. I think he's doing a Fucker Wolf as well. I'm doing the 109. Frankie Day, he's done an absolutely sterling job on that engine with all the the wiring on. And he's got like a framing round his Spitfire, which came with his kit. What I think is, it just seems to add that extra bit of class of detail to the kit. I think he's done a really good job of that. Um, your videos are much improved, Frankie, with your new um, camera. And what else? Right, without further ado, let's have a quick drink of this and I'll show you what I've been doing. <laughs> The weather report for tonight is it's freezing cold and it's pissing down with rain. I've got no leaks anyway, so it's amazing. Right, here we go, boys. There we go. Zoom in a bit. Right, get me pointer. You just have a quick look at that while I'm getting me pointer. We'll use this because it's got a nice big, we'll use this. Right. As you can see, I've put the cowling on there, the material cowling, the cockpit's on, I'll show you that in a minute. I've put all these, I've painted all these, the wiring, the black wiring and the, some buttons on there, I've done those. The machine gun brackets, I've put those on. And I've done these as well. And apparently this, these drawers here, this is where the ammo, the chain ammo goes inside, obviously feeding upwards. That's done. Um, what else have I done? 
Oh, I'll show you the cockpit as well, but I'm going to try and get some close-ups on this. Get some. Come on, you little bugger! It's not bloody zooming in. Why has it decided to? Oh, I think that's the best I'm going to get at the moment. There you go. I'll do it like this. It's easier. You can see all the wiring I've painted on there. You can see these gun, the bracket holders for the machine guns, painted and weathered, varnished. Put those on. And this cockpit was a bit of a pain in the arse because the whole cockpit with the dials on and everything is just glued to this piece. But this piece is only glued onto this bit by about three mil. So I had to let that dry overnight before I could stick that on because it just kept coming off. All right. Let's turn it around. Let's try and get this cockpit. I have to lift this up so you can get. This seems to be one of the focus tonight for some reason. It doesn't want to focus in. I don't know why. Right. There we go. Ah, it's got it. As you can see, there's all the dials and all the dials. I've done some dials in a dark blue. I've done some in a red and I've put an oil, I don't know, oil wash? I don't, yeah, I've put an oil wash over them just to give that where the the blackness actually um good where the blackness so it looks like the paintwork the enamel powder coating on the cockpit has faded slightly so i've done that um then i've put a matte varnish over the top of those now i'm going to try and get a close-up inside I don't know why, but this camera doesn't want to zoom in tonight. It doesn't want to focus on anything. I don't know if it's where I've positioned it. That's doing it again. See, normally it focuses, but it doesn't want to know tonight. But you can see, you can see some, see a lot of it anyway, can't you? There you go. And I have noticed one thing. Um, there's a a World War Two. And onwards flight simulator and um, what I've been looking at and it is absolutely so realistic the sound effects the graphics um, the engine noise um, you can actually it's an online game as well so you can actually reenact the Battle of Britain and you've got all your team who are all online playing on as the British pilots and then you've got other people playing on the other team and you say so you're reenacting the whole of the Battle of Britain and every fighter aircraft what is in the sky or bomber is actually controlled by somebody online which is really good and the tracer fire the graphics and the mobility of the aircraft is absolutely awesome um, and you can well you can go on there now there's a lots of people on YouTube who've downloaded all their flight sim um, get online replay gameplays and they look really good and I'm actually um, upgrading my computer so I can get it myself it's got all the models of aircraft on there. It's even got the aircraft that oh, is it UK model have made the um, the experimental um, one Messerschmitt 109Z, the one where the two Messerschmitt fuselages are joined together. It was like a sp experimental aircraft. They've got that on there. They've got all any aircraft from World War Two. Up until present day, they've got they've got all the sabers from the Cold War and the graphics, and you can use all the landing gear, and you can hear the, the landing gear coming up and down, and absolutely brilliant, mate, brilliant. Oh, let's see if I can get up. There we go. I'm going to do a a slides show with this actually, because I can get some better pictures inside. This this is all right like this, but. I can get some better ones. There's the cockpit. Okay. 
Turn it around, do a 360 on it, so I can get a little... Ah, that's a good bit of that bit there. There you go, I've done all, that's the bit I've been working on. And those gun brackets there, look. Right, now we're going to turn this this way. <coughs> Well, this is everything you see now. This is what I've been working on since my last video. There you go. And then we're back round to where we started. Is that? It's. There you go. And that's that's it really on that. And I'll quickly show you. Um, quickly show you these parts as well. I might as well bring them over instead of I'll bring them over instead of moving the camera. Yeah, I've done these pieces as well. I've done the insides. Yeah. Weathered they've all done with and there's the ammo um boxes connected to the th I think the thirty mils or fifty mil machine guns, I'll have to have a look. There you go. The nose. <laughs> Quickly show you the other one, which is, to be honest, it's exactly the same, but. <laughs> and there's the other one. Thanks for watching my update on the Battle of Britain group build with my ME109 124 scale by Airfix. Um, thanks very much, boys. Avida Zane.